Hello and welcome, thank you for joining me in today's case, which takes us to Nottingham, the land of Robin Hood. A city in the central region of England. Just before 2 a.m. on 24 April 2022, Ricardo Cotterell's life would be brutally taken away from him during some sort of altercation on Broad Street. The circumstances of the killing are not yet known, but it is believed that Ricardo had been attacked and stabbed on Broad Street, then had made his way to Lower Parliament Street where he collapsed. Paramedics would arrive, but they were unable to save his life. Ricardo Cottrell would sadly be pronounced dead at the scene. He was 33 years old, a father of two children. His family are of course devastated by this senseless loss. Felicia Cottrell speaks of hers and her family's grief. Ricardo's loss has absolutely devastated our family. He was a father of an 8-year-old and 11-year-old who adored him. He was a much-loved uncle, brother, son and grandson. It is hard to accept that we will never see him again, taken from us so young. Ricardo always had a smile on his face and was a loving person and would do anything for his family and friends. As a family we now need time to come to terms with what has happened and would ask that people leave us to grieve in peace. It didn't take police long to make their first arrest and on 24 April 2022, Igela Valmore, aged 30 would be arrested and held for questioning. Moore has previously spent time in prison for other offences, and even spent time in prison for a crime he didn't commit. A few days later Wade Smith aged 36 and Daniel Francis aged 26 would also be arrested and held for questioning. All three would later be charged with murder. They appeared at Mansfield Magistrates Court on April 29, 2022. They were then remanded into custody till May 4 when they appeared at Nottingham Crown Court. No application for bail was made and a provisional trial date has been set for the 14th of November 2022. Ricardo was likely recently released from prison although I cannot be certain, however in November 2020 he was sentenced to three and a half years in prison after pleading guilty to dangerous driving, possession of a Class A drug with the intent to supply and possession of a Class B drug. Normally he would do roughly half of that sentence which would bring us to around now-ish, especially if he spent time on remand before being sentenced. Although it is pure speculation, his release date, I thought it was worth mentioning. It's possible his freedom was stolen away from him literally when he just got it back. The beginning of May saw a fourth arrest, 24-year-old Richard Anderson, who has more than 17 previous convictions. He has also served time in prison, to which he had the time extended due to assault and threats to kill. He too would go on to be charged and remanded into custody. He appeared at Nottingham Magistrates Court on the, the 4th of May. He will appear at Crown Court at a later date. A 21-year-old female was arrested on suspicion of assisting an offender. She has been released on bail. My thoughts are with Ricardo's family and friends at this tragic time. May he rest in peace. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.